This is a video to demonstrate a new feature with RATS 8.3, which is the find in files operation on the help menu. Um, this is being run on Macintosh, but it's very similar on uh, Windows. Um, it's going to be on the help file, help, help menu. Um, we're often asked if there are examples that demonstrate a particular technique or particular option, um, and this will allow you to find them without having to ask us. Um, the between the textbook um, embedded examples and the replications, we have well over a thousand. Uh, example programs that are distributed with rats on a wide range of subjects. So this will allow you to, um, in many cases, probably in most cases, find examples that do something um, that you're interested in. So, for instance, one simple thing to do with this would be to look for um, examples that use a DCC Garch model. Um, we can locate those by asking for in text to find uh, MV equals DCC because any DCC example of the Garch instruction is going to have to have that uh, option included in it. Now you have a couple of um, options here that modify the uh, text of being found. We'll explain the regular expressions uh, with another example. Uh, you can also do case sensitive, but because RATS isn't case sensitive, it's probably a bad idea to ever use that. Is you just miss examples. Um, this is basically a uh, directory um, on the Macintosh. This is basically slash applications RATS 8.3 uh, is where the application and the uh, programs are, are included. Um, under Windows, this is going to be in your Documents directory. So this will, by default, point to um, the location of your procedures. Um, you're generally going to want to choose to search in subdirectory. So uh, the, because of the fact that the examples, the textbooks, and the paper replications are all in separate folders within separate folders, um, you're not going to catch very many unless you search across subdirectories. Uh, file types, the, the pretty much, if you have RATS 8.3, uh, these will all be uh, RPF files. So if I do this, what it's going to do is then search through a lot of files. Um, as you can see, it basically will give you a, a timing. This will um, usually go uh, faster after the first time you've done it, particularly under Windows, um, because of the way that the operating system works. And what this is going to do is, after it runs through all these, it's going to create this uh, list of search results, which basically have the uh, file in which it's found, the line number, and uh, the code in which it located it. So. In most cases, this is basically finding us what we want, which is Garch instructions with MV equals DC. C. Um, in this case, it also caught um, a situation where we had a comment. Um, I can show you, uh, in fact, we will show you how you could, could have avoided that. In this case, it's not uh, too big a deal because it's just one example. Um, so um, what we can do then is just click on one of these and it's going to load um, and the, the example that is shown, uh, which in this case is um, one of the uh, replications, the uh, Lebo and Box uh, paper. Now, if you want to just look at it, you can look at it. Basically, it'll, it'll show you the, the location of the, the, the line that it found. Uh, if you want to run it, uh, what you have to do first is reset the working directory. Uh, and because this is not going to pop it up as the input window, um, you have to switch it into input mode. And it 
rather quickly executes it in this case because it's a relatively short data set. Um, so that's uh, basically you know, a very simple example of something that, that you can find by just using um, some uh, key information that, that we found in a uh, rat's instruction. Set back up here. Um, now, another example which we had recently, someone asked whether we had an example uh, of a sure instruction which used the model option. Now, if we looked up sure model equals, we would miss some examples uh, because there's no particular reason that. A, an example that used the model option would have had model being the first option. Um, in fact, there are some of them where, um, for instance, the instruments option was used first. This is where regular expressions uh, can be helpful. Regular expressions are a, a standard way of showing text patterns uh, which have various types of wildcards for um, skipping over uh, certain types of characters. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add the following. Dot star dot means any character. Star means any number from zero up. So if I do sure left paren dot star model equals, it will um, locate any situation where there's a sure instruction, um, then an option field with any set of information, but at some point the uh, option model equals. Um, so then we'll click on use regular expressions. And it'll again run through the choices. As I said, un, un, under under Windows, this actually goes quite a bit faster um, it, on a second search because it, it caches information. Um, the Mac is not the difference isn't quite as um, extreme, but um, as you can see, as I said, we would if we just look for sure model equals, uh, we would have missed all these examples down here uh, because model was not the first option it was later on um, so you know we can again um, take one of these examples um, Hausman example here click on that um, we will again it automatically loads. This. That's one. That's a, one of our standard examples. Uh, change that to the input file. And run. Now you can keep that that window up um, if you want to look through some other ones and run them. Um, now we're going to show another example of a regular expression. Um, in this case, what we want to do is we want to look for all examples of a Garch instruction. Now the problem with looking for Garch by itself is that that's not going to necessarily be an instruction. It could be in the comments. A, it could be the name of a uh, series or formula or anything like that. So if we're looking for precisely examples of Garch instructions, any Garch instruction, uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to qualify this so that it only catches instructions. Now, 
what is going to make something an instruction? Well, it has to be the first thing on a line. The regular expressions allow you to indicate that something starts a line by using the uh, caret or the up arrow. This is so that basically matches only the beginning of the line. So this as written right now would catch any example where Garch is, the, a, a line starts with G-A-R-C-H. Now that will not get every example, it'll get most of them, but if Garch, uh, the Garch instruction was were indented because it, for instance we're in a loop, um, this wouldn't match. So what we could do is we can use a special code which is uh, backslash s which is used for any white space. So this is basically spaces or tabs. And again the star means any number from zero up. So basically what this is saying is find me any situation where Garch is the first non-blank thing on the line. Okay, we cut out a little of the uh, time here. And what you see is this finds quite a few examples. These are, uh, some of these are in our standard distribution uh, examples. Some of them, as you can see, the say textbook, there are quite a few examples. Uh, some paper replications in here. Uh, so it, uh, in this case, it's a pretty broad uh, class because we're just looking for Garch instruction. One thing to note about this is that the search can only go across a single line. So if you have something that might be on a second or uh, later line of a complex instruction like a graph or maximize, it might be hard to come up with a good uh, expression to locate that. Um, our first case worked reasonably well because MV equals DCC is specific to the Garch instruction. Uh, so you don't need to know, don't need to find the instruction to which that belongs. Um, so th that's one thing to keep in mind that, for instance, finding graph with footer might not work because the footer option uh, might be on uh, a second line. Uh, so you wouldn't be able to say graph you know, and look for the footer option within that. You'd have to simply look for footer by itself. Regular expressions are much broader than what we've seen here, but the uh, dot star slash s star and the anchor, the uh, caret, are probably going to be the ones that you would mainly use um, just because of the, the nature of rats. We've had this feature available in our development programs for about two months, and we found it to be extremely helpful, a uh, great time saver in answering questions posed by users, um, and they, we think you will find it extremely helpful as well. Uh, thank you for watching.